Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally going to show you guys swatches of all of my liquid lipsticks and glosses and what my favorite and my top lip combos are. So what other lip liners I mix. You guys always ask me what lip liners I'm using and what my lip combo is. We have two formulas, which is the liquid matte formula, which is a very hydrating matte formula. So our lip gloss is a high shine gloss and non-sticky formula. So you're going to get the maximum shine and gloss with zero stickiness. So the combo that I have on my lips right now, you'll be able to go to my Instagram, see my latest video, and I will have a description and you guys will see how I apply this. So I'm not going to bother showing this particular combo because you guys can go and check it out on Instagram. I'm so sad that I have to wipe this off. I'm living for this combo, but I'm going to show you guys some more. So if you guys know me by now, you know that the shade 1993 is my go-to shade. And the shade 1993 is named after me because I'm born in 1993. So my go-to lip liner every single day is the KKW Nude Number no. 2 lip liner. And then 1993 in the center. And this lip is an ombre lip. So if you are someone that doesn't like the ombre lips or you don't know how to do it, just watch because I know it can be daunting because some people don't do it right. So sit back and watch if you guys want to learn. So I first go in with the KKW Nude 2. And even though I have my lips done, I just like to overline. It's a habit that I have. So instead of leaving a really harsh line, I half the pressure of like how I'm pressing on my lips and I feather it into the center. So about three quarters of my lips is covered with the lip liner. So it makes the lipstick a lot easier to blend. I literally add like that much and it's enough pigment to cover my whole lip. Do you guys see why I'm so obsessed? So my favorite daily lip combo, if I'm going to have my hair down or if I'm going to be out in the wind, is this. But if I'm going out at night or my hair's up and I'm taking photos and I want to look extra glam, I will pop a gloss on top. So the shade that I like to pair with 1993 is Style Girl. So Style Girl is like a pinky brown nude. So you can see it has like a slight pinky brown undertone. So if you're someone that likes a really deep nude, those dark browns, this is the perfect gloss to go on top because it will really complement deeper nude shades and it won't change the color too much. So that is 1993 with Style Girl on top and KKW Nude 2. So my next lip combo is pretty much the same intensity, like it has the same depth, but this is a little bit more of a pinky tone rather than like a peachy nude. So the next lip combo is very bridal. So if you want to go for a traditional wedding day lip, this is the perfect lip for like a wedding day or a bridesmaid. I mean, if you love pink, this can be your everyday look too. So the lip liner that I use for this combo is the Il Maquillage and Kylie Bible lip liner. And this one is in the shade Bible. So it's still nude, but it's like a dusty pink nude undertone. So I'm first going to line my lips with this. And then to make them look really pink and pop, I go in with Saw. And that's what I use to feather it in. So it's like a very subtle ombre. Now I'm going in with Max Saw and I'm just going to feather it in. So just like I did the first time, I'm going to go about three quarters in on my lips. Okay, so now my lips are lined. I'm going to go in with Angel Baby and I apply this the exact same way that I wear 1993. And that is a little dab in the center and then I blend it out with my finger as well. So 
I want to show you guys how amazing this formula is. You literally feel like you have a normal lipstick on. They're super hydrating and super comfortable. They will not crack on your lips at all throughout the day. They don't turn powdery. So if you add Angel Baby with a brown lip liner, say the KKW Nude 2 that I just used, you'll get more of like a brownie, dusty pink. But I really like wearing it with pinky lip liners and get the full girly fantasy. It actually goes so well with this eye look. I feel like this is the perfect like wedding makeup. And do you see you got me falling but I'm going to show you guys now what Angel Baby looks like with the gloss gem on top. So now I'm going to add gem over the top. As if that's not the cutest little duo ever. So that is Angel Baby with gem on top. So the next lip combo is not actually one that I really do wear when I'm wearing makeup. This is the lip combo that I wear when I'm wearing no makeup. So when I still want my lips to stand out but I don't feel like doing my makeup, I wear Spice Lip Liner and I outline my lips and kind of feather it in and then I go in where is diamond sugar i literally have like three of every shade in this little lipstick holder and now they're all over my desk this is my little lipstick holder that i have whenever i'm doing a gloss i like to add this on top as well just to add that little bit of sparkle because it's a really nice sheer sparkle it's not like a gross glittery sparkle So for this particular way, I like to wear this glass. I like it to be brownie, but with a little bit of like a washed red undertone. So the lip liner that I like to go over the top with is Luna by Carly Bible and Il Maquillage. And I'm just going to go over and just mix the two together. I'm going to go in with the lip gloss in Diamond Sugar. Because of the shimmer reflex in Diamond Sugar, it's extra shiny, so I'll show you guys now. Can you guys see that? I'm going to get up nice and close so you guys can see the sparkle. I know this is a very different way to wear lip gloss, especially because the sunlight is so naked, like there's no lipstick underneath to base it. I find this is a very natural way, like I feel like this is how the 90s supermodels that wanted to wear like no makeup makeup would do their makeup, but it's so natural and just would go with absolutely any makeup look. If I had a hot pink eye, if I had a blue eye, just visualize any eyeshadow color. So if you're someone that doesn't like really distinct colors, I think this is perfect for you because it gives your lips that wow factor without having like any overpowering colors. And it also looks really great with no makeup makeup or very, very minimal makeup. So I do have three more lip combos to show you guys. So let's move on to the next one. So the next combo, believe it or not, is not an ombre lip. And the shade that I'm going to show you guys is Love Mood. So when we launched, Love Mood was our number one bestseller in that first week. We sold the most units of Love Mood. So I pair Love Mood with Morphe Sweet Tea. I feel like it's the perfect lip. Lip liner so I like to line my lips with sweet tea and then I go over the top with love mood and then I'm gonna go over the top with love mood so can you guys see how it's not that pale nude, it's more of like a wearable, deeper nude. So it's still a light nude, but it's not that pale nude, it's a little bit more of a wearable nude for all different sorts of people. I have two more lip combos for you guys, and the last two are the pops of colour. So Manifest isn't a hot pink, but it's kind of like a fuchsia I don't know really the proper name for it so I actually like to go in with a dark pink liner and dab this on the top and I wear this as a blotted lip so when I wear this I wear it as a blotted lip but I'm going to show you guys how I like to wear it 
So I'm first going to show you guys how I like to wear it and the way I blot it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like fully opaque just so you guys can see. For the people that do like a more bright pink lip, it is so gorgeous. So I'm going to go in. I don't know if this is actually still available, but I really love this lip liner. It's the Kylie and Balmain Paris. So I'm going to line my lips and color them in with this liner. So I like to take Manifest and I add a dot just like I do the Super Nudes and I literally blot this over my lips. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So this is the more washed out, blotted version of how I like to wear Manifest. And I'll show you guys what it looks like opaque. So because this is a darker pink, I don't need to add a darker liner to define it. So I'm going to go in. So that is Manifest and we will move on to the final lip shade. So I've saved the brightest lip shade to last and the last shade that I'm going to show you guys is Tropicana. Now I love a red lip, don't get me wrong, but any time that I've really gone for a pop of color or a shade of red, my first choice is always a strawberry bright fiery red strawberry shade. So I love a deep red, I love a blue base red, I love a candy red. But I've always felt like I resonate the most with this shade of red. So that is why this was the first shade of red that I launched. There's obviously going to be every shade of red under the sun eventually. But this is the bad boy I had to start with because this shade just has my heart. I actually pair this with a pure blue based red lip liner. And this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Cheerleader. I feel like this just works the best for me. I feel like this lip liner is expired because it's gone really dry like it's shrunk and this used to be super creamy and now it's like not even going on. I have a new one of these somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's probably at my mother-in-law's house because I live in there at the moment but I'm just going to use this because this is a shade that really sets it off for me. That looks so crusty. I'm gonna go over the top with Kylie Mary Jo. This isn't exactly the same, but it is pretty similar just to make it all even because that looks crazy. So that's obviously how it's meant to go on. Actually, you know what? It is kind of similar. Okay, so line is on and then I'm going to fill in my lips with Tropicana and this is a bit more red, a bit more dark, but I really like how it all comes together once it's all blended in. So I go pretty much over the liner so you can still see it, but I am covering it. So that is Tropicana. It is still drying down because it's hydrating. It takes literally a second. I'll press my lips together a few times like and then you can see the shine goes away and now you can see the shade is completely set and as it does set and oxidize it just looks more vibrant and amazing. So that is Tropicana. <laughs> They are all of my lip combos. So I have created a secret coupon code for anyone that has watched this video through to the end. So the secret discount code for 10% off your order is flowers. So I will know that you came from this video if you use the code flowers and you will also get 10% off your order. So this is only for my YouTube fam. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.